bless you for calling Father McCready. I'm currently out doing the Lord's work at the moment, so leave me a message and I'll get back with you just as soon as the Lord my God allows me to. Have a blessed day, and remember, Jesus is watching you. Listen, fucker. I'm tired of what you do to them kids. I know where you live, and I know your name. I know how to get there without you knowing about it, so you better watch your act. Oh, I'm sorry, Father McCready. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Disregard. So, uh, Father, are you freeballing it? Father McCready, um, if all of, if all of mankind came from one man and one woman, then how come what my father does to me is illegal? Hey, uh, Father McCready. I just wanted to apologize about the brownies from last bake sale. Yeah, they got, uh, mixed up. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll see you Sunday. Father McCready, this is Dr. Jones. We have the results of your HIV test. Please call me back. Hey, Father McCready. As you know, Judy just gave birth, and I was wondering, <clears throat> is there a reason why God gave me a black baby? Father McCready... I think it's time for you to come back to the house and do another exorcism. It's that time of the month that my daughter's being a bitch. Father McCready, I was at my sign language class the other day and I really met somebody who could use the light of Jesus in their life. I gave them your number, so you might want to expect a call, okay? Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, Father McCready? Yes, this is Alex. Uh, I uh, noticed that my phone called you earlier. Uh, it was an accident. Um, and I... Uh, we need to meet. Um, it's not what you think, I, I, I promise. Oh, God. Father McCready? Yes, my name is Carol. About seven months ago, you said that if I brought my baby to term, the, the church would help me. But ever since I gave birth, you haven't returned any of my calls. And my... Message deleted. Hey, Father McCready, I was wondering, if I crucify my brother, will he get superpowers? Hello, Father. I know we've talked about this before, but now I'm really worried. I was okay with my daughter Candace joining the field hockey team. I'm not a Jew, for God's sake. I was okay with her not shaving her legs anymore. At least I know she's not slutting around. I mean, what kind of person would be with an unshaven woman? Then she became really attached to this girl on her team named Adrian. I'd like to think that I'm a more open-minded Christian. That's what we Catholics are, after all. But this is the final straw. Last night, she brought Adrian home for dinner and, well... Adrian is a nigger, goddammit! Oh, I'm sorry, Father. Adrian is a nigger, gosh darn it. What should I do? 